Deus in auditorium meum intende Domine ad adjuvandum me festina Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo Sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum Amen Alleluia Jesu corona virginum que mater illa concipit que sola virgo parturit ec vota clemens acipe qui pascis inter lilia Septus Coreis Virginum, sponsus de corus gloria, sponsis que redens premia. Cocum que pergis virgine, secunt orat que laudibus, poste canentes corsitam. Tim nos que dulces personant Te deprecamor largius Nostris ad auge mentibus Nesire prorsus omnia Corruptionis funera Jesu tibi sint gloria, qui natus est de virgine, cum Padre d'almo spiritu, in sempiterna secula. The Lord is my stronghold and my Savior. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades away like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, read them in smoke. Flash your lightnings rout the foe, shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me, draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Gloria Patri et Filio, Et Spiritui Sancto, Sicuterat in principio, Et nunc et semper, Et in secula, Seculorum, Amen. The Lord is my stronghold and my Savior, Alleluia. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory, Through our Lord Jesus Christ, Alleluia. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free, you set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth, 
Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Christ yesterday and today, he is the same forever. Alleluia. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power, you have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath, and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, he is the same forever. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. The unmarried man is busy with the Lord's affairs, concerned with pleasing the Lord. The virgin Indeed, any unmarried woman is concerned with the things of the Lord in pursuit of holiness in body and spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the King amid gladness and joy. Alleluia! Alleluia! The virgins are led into the presence of the King Amid gladness and joy, alleluia, alleluia. They are brought into the king's dwelling place, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the king. Amid gladness and joy, alleluia, alleluia. Come, spouse of Christ, receive the crown the Lord has prepared for you from all eternity. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed, The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. 
He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto. Sicut erat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Come, spouse of Christ, receive the crown the Lord has prepared for you from all eternity. Alleluia. Christ extolled those who practiced virginity for the sake of the kingdom. Let us praise Him joyfully and pray to Him. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Christ, you presented the church to yourself as a chaste virgin to her spouse. Keep her holy and inviolate. Jesus, example of virgins, Hear us. Christ, the holy virgins went out to meet you with their lamps alight. Keep the fidelity of your consecrated handmaids burning brightly. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Lord, your virgin church has always kept its faith whole and untarnished. Grant all Christians a whole and untarnished faith. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have given your people joy in celebrating the feast of your holy virgin, Catherine. Give us constant joy through her intercession. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have admitted the holy virgins to your marriage banquet. In your mercy, lead the dead to your heavenly feast. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear the prayers of those who recall the devoted life of the Virgin Catherine. Guide us on our way and help us to grow in love and devotion as long as we live. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Regina Celi. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.